preview. Hi, I'm Phil Lemper with the new Proc Tits and Misses for the 22nd day of August 2012. We have three hits this week, so stay tuned. Our reviews are not paid for, nor can they be bought. We start with the lowest score first, a miss is 75 and under, and hit 85 and up. And I hope you'll download our free app, Smarter Shopping in the iTunes Store, and get hits and misses right on your smartphone. First up from Nescafe, Memento. So the idea of this product is foam. It's all about the foam, to the point that on the side of the package, they talk about using real nonfat milk that's infused with airy bubbles that ensures that the foam lasts until the last sip. Airy bubbles? It's probably the potassium phosphate. So besides the foam, how does it taste? Well, the caramel actually tastes very good, although there is no caramel listed in the ingredients. I guess if you are a latte junkie and want to be able to make your own in less than a minute, this is for you. Me, I'm just going to stick with brewed black coffee. Retails for $4.29 for 8.8 ounce packets. Total score is 82. Snack at tortilla chips. Now, this is a different kind of tortilla chip. It's gluten free, made with corn and chia, and is loaded with omega 3 fatty acids. That's the good news. The not so good news is that it's round instead of triangular. Yes, I'm a purist. And while it is nice and crispy, I don't taste the tomato basil at all. What I do taste is the sea salt, but it only has 60 milligrams of sodium per bag. Just a little bit more tomato and basil flavor, and this product would be a hit. Retails for two. 69 for 5 ounces. Total score is 84. Nectress Natural No Calorie Sweetener. It's our first hit of the week. Now, do we really need yet another no calorie sweetener? Obviously, the people at Splenda think that we do. This one is 100% natural with nothing artificial. It is very sweet tasting and is a recipe of urethritol, sugar, monk fruit extract, and molasses. Now, I understand why they're making a big deal about it being made from monk fruit. Clearly, that sounds more natural, more exciting, more special, but it is the third ingredient a bit misleading to highlight that one on the front. Retails for $3.99 for 40 packets, total of 3.3 ounces in the box. Total score is 88. Chow Bella Adonia Greek Frozen Yogurt. It's a hit. Now, Chow Bella makes one of the best gelatos on the market. Now I can say that they also make one of the best frozen Greek yogurts. The espresso flavor is terrific. It's nice and clean. And here's why. It's actually made with coffee extract and coffee. Huh? What a concept. No artificial or natural flavors are here. Half a cup is 9 grams of protein, 0 grams of fat, and 130 calories. But it does have 22 grams of sugars. This is one of the best espresso frozen yogurts I've ever had. The flavor, the mouthfeel, the texture, ah, I could go on and on. Retails for $4.99 for 14 ounces. Total score is 92. Elios Dairy Greek Yogurt Butter, it's a hit. Now, if you like butter, you've got to try this one. Not only is it 25% less fat and 30% less calories, but just like Greek yogurt, it's loaded with beneficial bacteria. The taste and the mouthfeel are perfect, but I do have a complaint. It's just a touch too salty, which is probably from the sea salt, since it only contains 20 milligrams per tablespoon of sodium. The taste is a little heavier and richer than the traditional butter, and it has no yogurt flavor. This is good. Retails for $3.99 for 15 ounces. Total score is 92. New Proc Tits and Misses uploads right here every Wednesday on our network online and on your mobile phone. Follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Facebook or download us free on iTunes. For the complete product detail and information on today's products, just log on to supermarketguru.com.